Now, let's go to meteorologist Kirk Greenfield for another look at the forecast. Kirk, it's the start of a heat wave. Yes, it's already here. We're looking at temperatures that are in the upper 90s today. We've already seen a peak, but we're starting to back off just a little. Let's take a look at the radar satellite composite. We do see just a few showers in the mountains of West Virginia, the other side of I-79. But uh, here in the lowlands along the Ohio River, we really don't see anything materializing as far as any relief. We're at 95, according to the Highmark West Virginia Skycam. Feels like 93. We actually got up a bit higher by about three degrees today. We're looking at the relative humidity. It's just 27%. That's pretty good. That means the humidity is not as oppressive as it could be. The winds are calm at the moment, and the pressure 30.08 inches is falling somewhat rapidly. Looking at our current temperatures, we have 96 in Athens. We're at 95. Same for Charleston, 93 up at Columbus and Cincinnati. The breeze is generally from the west, 5 to 6 miles per hour, but the latest report in Parkersburg is calm. Now, the heat index is not, in, uh, not greatly different from our uh, thermometers because we don't have that great influx of humidity yet. That will come later on this week, and we're concerned about that. The 24-hour temperature change, we're about one degree warmer than we were yesterday at this same time. So as we zoom out, we don't see much. High pressure is still in control over top of us. The rotation around this high is pumping up that warmth up to the Mississippi River Valley. And as it dissipates, uh, we're not only going to uh, see more sunshine as we go, but as that moves, we're going to see that southerly flow replace the northerly flow that we had been enjoying. Futurecast suggests it's going to be quiet for the overnight as we get into Tuesday. We start to see some of those disturbances push down out of the Great Lakes, but more likely we'll see them Tuesday night into Wednesday, and it doesn't look like it's going to deliver too much for Parkersburg right now. At the moment, we're about 95 sunny and hot, so those who like to run, this may not be the best time, but at least the humidity level is low. The allergy alert says palm levels very high as we go through this week. Cragweed leading the pack. You'll probably want to talk to your pharmacist for some assistance there. The humidity forecast says we're going to be climbing here in a jump on Wednesday. It certainly looks we'll be into the very humid conditions by the time we hit the weekend. And the heat advisory, again, that's west of us, all the western half of Ohio. We're uh, escaping that right now because of the low humidity. Tonight, 65 for the overnight low, mostly clear conditions. We got about a half moon, 97 for tomorrow's high. Hot and increased humidity, so that's what we're really concerned about. We have the yellow alert lights turned on for Tuesday and Wednesday, but the high temperatures for the rest of the week make us concerned as well. There is a threat of showers and storms on Thursday, more likely on Friday, uh, rather on Saturday, as a cold front comes through and drops our highs into the 80s as we go through the rest of the weekend.